But based off of all of your moves so far, MBS, it is obvious to us that you're setting up for the Dajjal. Say I'm wrong. Can't stop me. You think you're going to ban me? Screw it. Try to ban me. Go ahead. They're rulers. They're tyrants. They're modern day pharaohs. That's what you don't see. Don't hide. Don't let that white thing that they wear and that red checkered thing that they wear and they smell good and look rich. Don't let that fool you. Way of life as Q. Keeping it a hundred. Saudi Arabia has officially sold out. And I'm so excited to say this because this is what I've been saying the whole time. And it took you to have your my man, my man MBS, whatever his name is, to, to allow homosexuality, transgender, LGBTQ shows into his country. A Muslim country, an Islamic country, the same Muslim and Islamic countries that a certain individual was telling me that we need to move to. They are allowing homosexual and those types of comments into, into their Netflix series, into their country. They're not banning it. Because you know that countries, like, like for example, in the UK, there's certain Netflix shows available there that are not available in America. Unless you're using a VPN or something, you can't watch or view them, right? At what exchange? Here's the exchange. Listen to me. In exchange for Netflix not showing anything that is anti-MBS, meaning anti Mohammed bin Salam content, like the Patriot Act uh, show, one of the episodes that didn't got aired in, in, in Saudi Arabia because it was critical of his regime and how he is as a king. In exchange for Netflix to not show anything like that, he is allowing all of the fitna of the world to enter into his country. Just as a response and an exchange as a business deal for you, Netflix, not allowing anything to come against me. So all of you people out there who are going to support Saudi Arabia, all of you, there's some of you out there who are going to support them. You guys are going to be like, how dare you talk about Saudi Arabia? You're going to be posting your flags. Let me tell you something. I love the Saudi people, you guys, and the regular average Joe Schmoes over there, okay? The issue is your monarchy government that's nearly communist. You have to understand that. It's nothing Islamic about it, guys. Don't be, don't be fooled. They were allowing Nicki Minaj, watch this video, Nicki Minaj, to come and perform in concerts. They've allowed Chris Brown to come perform in concerts. Uh, Justin Bieber, all these people perform in concerts. Why? Tyga was there performing in concerts. What, what, what is Tyga going to tell you to do? What is he, what, he makes stripper music? That's what they're bringing in their stripper music? SubhanAllah. And some of you are still going to defend them and say, SQ, how dare you stand up against a Muslim ruler? What? R Muslim ruler? I'm not here to say someone is or isn't a Muslim. But we judge from what's apparent, isn't it? Isn't it, people? Where are all those people? Where are your Medina students? Medina University, stand up. Calling, paging Medina University, stand up. Are your students going to say something about this? Or are you afraid that you're going to get kicked out of the program? You're afraid you're going to be banned from entering Saudi? Which one is it? I don't care if I go come back for Umrah. You can't stop me. If Allah wants me to perform Umrah again, Hajj, whatever it is, you can't stop me. You think you're going to ban me? Screw it. Try to ban me. Go ahead. But that's not going to have me speak the truth. What did the Messenger وسلم, define as arrogance? Pride, arrogance. What did he define it as? That when the truth comes to you, you reject it. You're not even hearing it out. My man doesn't want any criticism of him at all. At all. He wants his photos inside of the hotel rooms. True or false? Go to, go to Umrah, go to a Hilton, Marriott, whatever. Why are their photos in the main lobby? When we know the messenger saw some said what? The angels of mercy and barakah don't come in. When there's a dog or there's pictures. True or false? True or false? false i think what what's happening with saudi arabia right now is that it's becoming kind of obvious bro mbs is becoming kind of obvious that your illuminati antichrist the jaw welcoming asses have finally really sold out so when i say saudi arabia i'm not talking about the people of saudi arabia which are awesome people by the way I'm talking about your regime, your governments, your communist movements are doing that. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Oh, man. Oh, man.
YouTube not gonna want to promote this. You guys are gonna be a stuff for Allah. You're a Akhwani. You're a Khwarij. What are these things? What are these things? It sounds like nasty. Akhwani, Khwarij. Why? Because someone's being critical of you? Man is allowing homosexuality to enter. And think about this. Think about this. Think about this, right? Now we know that any country that has that type of content is because their leadership and rulers have allowed it to happen. I don't know what's on Netflix Pakistan. I don't know what's on that Netflix. If they've allowed it, they're wrong too. Right? They're wrong too. Why is it that, you know, Saudi Arabia with all that sort of stuff isn't inviting some type of pro uyghur social experiments or pro uyghur uh, you know, videos being shown? Why aren't they making some documentaries about that, huh? Why isn't Pakistan making things about this, huh? They have too much to lose. These Muslim rulers that you're talking about are not Muslim rulers. They're rulers. They're tyrants. They're modern-day pharaohs. That's what you don't see. Don't hide. Don't let that white thing that they wear and that red checkered thing that they wear and they smell good and look rich. Don't let that fool you. These people don't have our best interest. Where are... Just tell me. Where are the ulama? Where are they? And this is not me calling out any ulama. I'm sure that there's thick issues and how you have to carry yourself. I'm just a regular Joe Schmo, right? I'm just a regular YouTuber. I'm able to say what I want to say. But ulama have to be more careful. The scholars have to be more scare careful. Let me advise privately, so on and so forth. I hope you're advising privately. That's all I got to say. I hope you've contacted... Hope you've contacted Muhammad bin Salam privately. I hope he has council members that could do this. Or, or, or is he the counseling with people who are encouraging him to do this? Which one is it? Clear my doubts. Just, just, just clear my doubts. Just clear them. Just clear them. You either are someone who is trying to bring the emergence of the Dajjal or you're not. Make it be known. But based off of all of your moves so far, MBS, it is obvious to us that you're setting up for the Dajjal. Say I'm wrong. SQ, you're freaking crazy. You're crazy, SQ. In the middle of a schoolyard speaking the truth. Who's gonna watch this, huh? Who's gonna watch this? Some people, everyone, who? Whoever Allah wants to see this. Whoever decides to share this message. It's garbage, bro. Pure garbage. Unadulterated garbage. The fact that he would allow that to show and allowing it in his country. Allowing it. Allowing that type of content being shown. As long as you're not making me look bad, I will allow that. Wow. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Wow. That is the ultimate echo chamber. I wonder what's in their newspapers. I wonder. I wonder what kind of pro-MBS stuff is in the newspapers. I wonder what kind of propaganda is in their newspapers. Well, like, it's scary. It's so scary what's happening right now. They want to make deals with Israel. They want to make deals. They want to make deals. For what? To further your agenda while people die and you keep getting richer. Saudi Arabia. One of your, your princes or whoever spent a billion dollars on some island. What about that? What about that? SubhanAllah, invited women, models. Astaghfirullah, what's happening? You single-handedly have enough money to end the issues happening in Yemen, in Palestine. You have it. Who's calling me right now? I can't take it right now. I'm making a video. Single-handedly have enough money to do that, to end the poverty. Single-handedly have enough money to free, to buy the freedom of the Uyghurs, by the freedom of the Rohingya Muslims. Refugees in Bangladesh, you could build, you know, the orphanage for them, schools for them, apartments for them. You could build that, but you're not. You're choosing to spend it on, 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 on islands and, and jets and all this sort of stuff while your people die. That's sad. That's so sad. It's so sad that you're willing to use your money in that way. But I'm supposed to be quiet, right? Because if I, if I speak against a Muslim ruler, all of a sudden I'm doing something wrong. Where are all the people? I'm not going to say their names. I'm not going to say their names. I'm not. I'm not. I really want to say the names of the people, but I'm not. But where are you? Why aren't you speaking about them, huh? Huh? Why aren't you brothers who are always, you know, enjoining the good and forbidding the evil? Where are you? It is time to enjoin the good. It is time to forbid the evil. What MBS is doing is evil. Yes? No? It's time to enjoin the good. Yes? Correct them, yes? I've tried to advise the Akhi privately. 
Forget the fact that he's a king or ruler. Screw that part. Treat him like an individual. I've contacted him. I've tried to speak to him. I've advised him privately. Now it's time to make a public advice, huh? Make him. Make him. You don't. You're scared. You're scared. What are you scared of, huh? You're going to ban my YouTube channel? Ban it. Ban it. Go ahead, ban it. You want to ban this video? Ban it. I don't care. The truth of the matter is this. MBS, you're a fraud. I'm judging from what's apparent. You're letting in rappers, music, things into your country. People like SQ, don't be controversial. Don't be controversial. Be like, I'm not going to even say their names because it's going to get me in trouble. Be like such and such person. Don't be controversial. SQ, what I really want to say to you is, hey SQ, don't speak your mind. Because if you speak your mind, people won't invite you to come speak at their masjids. People won't invite you to the conventions. People won't invite you to come and speak at their gatherings and blah, 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 blah. SQ, the TV deals that you're getting, you're not going to get those if you speak your mind. Oh man. That's the problem. That's the problem. You know, a lot of you wonder, like, why don't these influencers use their platforms to talk about Palestine and, and, and the Uyghurs and the Rohingyans? Why don't they do that? It's because the brand deals will drop them. That's what they want. By the way, this video is sponsored by Sindeed. This video is sponsored by Sindeed. Does that mean they agree with all my choices? No. They might not, but I'm wearing it. You guys got to know, I'm wearing some Sindeed supporting Muslim businesses. That's what we got to do. Let me check the time. I might have to go upstairs. I'm at work right now. Oh, yeah, I got to go to work. Here's the point. This video is sponsored by Sandeep. Look in, link in the description. Support Muslim businesses. That's what you need to do. It's not my business, but support Sandeep. They're dope. They're dope. Made in France clothes. They're trying. They're living in like hostile conditions where Muslim, Islam is not even accepted. They're treated wrongly, yet they're still putting gear for Muslims. Wow, mashallah. Support them. Spend your money on them. Check out their website. Don't even buy anything, but check out their website. Show them some traffic on their stuff. God. That doesn't mean they agree with what I'm saying. They're just sponsoring my videos. They're paying me to wear their stuff. Point is this. Saudi Arabia, you've sold out. Your rulers, they've sold out. If you're quiet about it and you're indifferent about it, you're probably selling out too. If you want to watch more videos, click these videos right here. The Dajjal's arrival and blah, blah, blah. The sage is being set. I'm not a kook. But what you're doing right now, Saudi, is kind of it's kind of like bait. Like it's obvious. It's obvious what you're doing. Anyways, uh, watch some of the other videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Probably gonna get like a lot of hate from you people, but uh, just letting you know, if you're a Saudi, forgive me if I offended you directly. It wasn't against you. It's about the regime. It's about that communist party you guys got there. And until next time, I'm out.